Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Caleri and I'm the Executive Director of Quincy Access Television. And welcome to Quincy Access TV's annual reading of Twas the Night Before Christmas. First, a little introduction about the poem. In 1822, a New York clergyman named Clement Clark Moore spun together Christmas memories for his children. The poem he wrote featured a red-suited Santa and a reindeer-drawn sleigh, a never-empty sack of toys, and stockings hung expectantly above the fireplace. He called it A Visit from St. Nicholas, and it was then published anonymously in a newspaper in Troy, New York. It captured the public's imagination. The poem's opening line, Twas the Night Before Christmas, soon replaced the original title. One reason Moore's poem has endured is that it is a joy to read aloud. Beginning in hushed suspense, the poem builds to a dramatic crescendo as the rollicking verses usher in a mysterious midnight visitor. A tale of anticipation and wonder, the night before Christmas has become a holiday tradition in itself for many families. So as you open these pages, whether for a first Christmas or to recall those past, celebrate and share the timeless joys of this enchanting holiday. And now, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their bed while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn, there rose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the stash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eyes should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, many whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tanched with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he held flung on his back. He looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes were how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He was drew little mouth, was drawn up like a bow, and beard to his chin, and it was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face, and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings. Then turn with a jerk and laying his finger aside on his nose and giving another 
up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the dawn of a crystal. But I heard him exclaim, here it drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With the little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. It's dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up on a housetop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head, and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and his herd, his beard on his chin, was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plumped, all right, jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave to me I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and he filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Was the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hope that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads.
and Mama in her handkerchief and me and my cat had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When, what to my wondering eye should appear, but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. When a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now pra Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, at, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur, from head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opened his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard to his chin, as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his walk and filled all the stockings and then turned with a jerk and laying his finger side of his nose and gave Gave, giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain, exclaim as he drove out of sight, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, and, and to all a good night. night. Can you wave? Say bye. bye. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry to all. Christmas. Hi everyone. I'd like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope that everyone has a great time. And I'm looking forward to seeing you sometime in 2022. Good night. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Let's go, Santa. Yeah.